In this edit text tutorial, I will cover how to automatically change focus from one edit text to the other, both in XML and Java, when the user presses the enter button on the keyboard. So just to recap what was covered in the previous two edit text tutorials, uh, what we did was we created two edit texts, and when we pressed outside the first edit text, it would lose focus and dismiss the keyboard. In the second edit text, when we press the enter button, it would also dismiss the keyboard. Now I'm going to cover how to go from one edit text to another by pressing enter. And obviously the first thing that we have to do, like we did for this edit text over here, is set it so that it can only have one line. So we're going to go to activity main.xml and for my edit text, I'm going to specify Android single line equals true. And I'm also going to start off by doing this in XML because in Java, it gets a little tedious. But in XML, it's straight, uh, fairly straightforward. We simply have to use one of the edit text attributes and say Android and then say next focus forward. Whoops. Okay. And now I have to provide the ID for the edit text that I want to go to. So that's going to be um, my edit text too. And this is a very useful method because essentially what it will allow us to do is once the user is done with a certain edit text and they press enter, it will change the focus from the current edit text to the ID that you specify. So in this manner, it is not, the edit text does not necessarily have to be below the other edit text. Let's say you were to have three edit texts. You can jump from one edit text at the top of the screen all the way to one at the bottom by using next focus forward and providing the ID. So the app has finished running and over here are my edit text. I'm going to type something like subscribe to IJ apps and I'm going to press this enter button over here and you can see it automatically takes me to the second keyboard over here where I can then begin typing. Now I'm going to cover how to do this in Java so I'm going to delete this line over here and the reason that it's more tedious is because we have to detect when um, whether the key that the user pressed in the edit text was an, the enter key. In order to do this, we just set an on editor action key. So set, um, set on editor, I mean action listener, new on editor listener. And although it's providing us with a text view object over here, this will still work. So what I have to do over here is say, um, if action ID equals editor info dot action next, I'm gonna choose next. Then this is essentially where we have to change the focus. Okay, it looks like there's an error. Oh, okay, I accidentally used only one equal sign. So now I have to request focus from my second edit text. So we have this edit text to object, et2. And what I'm going to do is request focus by saying et2 dot request focus. Um, request focus. And now I'm going to run this. So now I have my edit text over here. I'm just going to type something like subscribe to uh, IJ apps and I'm going to hit this enter button and you can see that the icon has actually changed from a check mark to this I'm going to press on that and you can see it takes us to our second edit text automatically uh, an error that you may have noticed earlier just a little bug was that when I went from my first edit text to my set edit, second edit text uh, or earlier when I was doing it through XML the keyboard automatically disappeared is because of this bit of code over here. So I just commented that out and that code was essentially to dismiss the keyboard. And um, I can copy this, change this to ET2 and uncomment this. So now what this will do is essentially um, when we type text in our edit, the first edit text and then go to our second edit text and press enter, then it will dismiss the keyboard, but this is automatically being done. So that's all for this edit text tutorial. What you learned was how to go from one edit text to another automatically when the user presses enter. And this was done by both using Java, by checking which key the user has pressed and whether it's the next key, as well as by doing it through XML and using Android Focus Forward, which is a very clean option to use and I definitely recommend doing that. Please subscribe and stay tuned for future episode, uh, tutorials and please share the channel with friends. Until then, happy developing for